what is not fun is getting out the door this morning because it's really foggy out there this morning. Yeah, let's get it over to First Alert meteorologist Rodney Harris. Rodney? Yeah, and something else happened over the weekend, Robin Gavir. Daylight saving time uh. ended. So <laughs> last Saturday, sunset was at 641. Uh, tonight, sunset 539. Now, the good part of that is we got that extra hour of sleep yesterday, but now we got to deal with these sunsets that are going to get shorter and shorter. So again, tonight, 539. By Thanksgiving, the sunset is 530. And then on December 8th, that is the earliest the sun will set, 528. Then after December 8th, the sun will start to set later and later, very slowly, uh, but later and later. But yeah, welcome to those super early sunsets. But we got, you know, an hour extra of sleep. Here is that dense fog. So we're back at Atlanta Airport. I've been giving you some reference here this morning. Uh, this has actually gotten better. So now you can actually see some of the runways. You can see the bottom of the tower about 10 minutes ago. You couldn't see any of that because of the dense fog that's out there. So keep that in mind. It's not dense everywhere, but it is patchy, dense fog, which is why we are under the advisory. So that is a first alert at 7 and 9 o'clock this morning, which I have highlighted in red. Outside of that, temperatures will be in the upper 60s and low 70s, so plenty warm this morning. Later on this morning, we're going to see uh, better conditions with more sunshine closer to 11 o'clock. By 1 o'clock, plenty of sunshine and 79 degrees. 81 at 3 o'clock today. And remember, as you're coming home from work, a few showers will be possible. 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock, that coverage is at about 20 to 30 percent today. For Election Day, as you get out the door on Tuesday, 64 degrees, 77 for Tuesday afternoon. So no issues weather-wise for Election Day. We'll see plenty of sunshine, not forecasting any rain. It won't even be cold on Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday also looking good. A little bit cooler on Wednesday and Thursday. Highs in the upper 60s and low 70s, which is closer to average for this time of year. Mostly sunny for both days. And then for Friday, we have some changes coming. We have a cold front moving in, and we also have subtropical storm Nicole, which developed this morning off the coast of Florida. I told you about this more than a week ago before it was even in our outlook, and now we have this subtropical storm. So what's going to happen with Nicole throughout the course of the week? It's going to gradually move toward Florida. A landfall is expected on the east coast of Florida on Thursday, and you can see the track actually curves Nicole back through Georgia. So parts of Georgia right now, it looks like south and east Georgia. We'll see wind and rain from this. How it will impact us in Metro Atlanta remains to be determined depending on that exact track. But because of that and a cold front moving through, we have a 30% chance of rain in your forecast on Friday. Saturday is a first alert because it's much colder. Your high is only 60 in Atlanta Saturday after that front. 34 Sunday morning and 54 Sunday afternoon. So circle this weekend as being very cold, especially compared to today. Here